Yeah, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Anyway, prior to update 8.5 hitting, I did a video on the new economy. And in that video, I sort of praised the new economy. In fact, I'm still in favor of the removal of the cost of standard ammunition, HE shells, and repairs. However, this was prior to the update. And like all things in life, sometimes if something is too good to be true, then quite possibly it is. Now hardly anybody gives you anything for nothing in this world. So there's always going to be some kind of trade-off somewhere. Yes, I've seen a recent video by a much more famous YouTuber than me talking about the profitability being changed and this is having a big impact, especially in tiers 9 and tier 10. But I have actually got a different theory and that's what we're going to explore in this video. Now before I get to that, I am, as I said, in favour of the recent economy change that has been made by Wargaming insofar as standard ammunition, HE shells and tank repairs have now been removed. They're all free. They are free, free, free. And that is a good thing, not a bad thing. And I rolled out this morning on the NA server. Now, a couple of things you have to remember about the replays that you're going to see. Firstly, I'm on the NA server, and my ping is somewhere in the region of 300. So you're not going to see amazing gameplay, number one. And secondly, I was live streaming it, so I was having a bit more fun. And I was just actually trying to test some new settings. But somebody mentioned in that stream about another YouTuber's video, so I gave it a bit of a test. So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you two games, not the one you're seeing now, two additional games. And one is a win and one is a defeat. Both are in the same tank, which is the tier 9 E75. It's semi-stock. I haven't upgraded the turret, the engine, the tracks, and I haven't got the tier, eight, uh, the tier 10 gun. I've only got the tier 9 gun. So it is semi-stock. And as I said, I have got massive ping, especially on NA. I had 300 ping and about 2% package loss. Now, in both games, I do similar damage, but I'm more active, obviously, in the game that we win than the game that we lose. And in fact, the game that we win, I get a second class. So I want to compare these two games, credit-wise. Now, before we get into that, this is just a quick game that I did in a Tiger 1 in Tier 7. As you can see, we do pretty well. We do just shy of 4,000 damage. We get quite a few kills. And we earn quite a lot of credits, 51,000 in fact. But we got a first class. Now, this is the first game I want to show you. This is me in a semi-stock E75. It's a Tier 9, Tier 10 game here on Middleburg. So, this game, you know, it was always going to be difficult because I'm in a semi-stock tank. But the idea was to see how we're going to get on. Now, I haven't changed the parameters of my setup at all. I, because I've got times three booster on this, I, I added all the other boosters as well. So it nothing, it's no different to what I did in the Tiger 1 game, funnily enough. So I'm here. I, I've done a couple of shots. I'm in trouble now. I'm going to get pushed. Our, our team went to the town. There's only me and a Waffle Traeger here. We've already lost our Vickers. I'm going to be pushed by these by these tier 10s. It's as simple as that. All I can do now is as much damage as possible. And that's what I'm attempting to do. So I'm going to take out the E50. Now, I've already fired a premium ammunition. So I fired one shell premium ammo. And that's going to cost me about 4,000 credits. Because it's pretty expensive in this tier. And I've done, what, just shy of 1,000 damage. I'm not setting the world on fire. My ping there doesn't allow me to get that shot in. I'm in trouble. I know I'm in trouble. I'm not going to be doing anything massively spectacular. And, you know, I know I'm going to die. I've done just over 1,100 damage. And now the world is going to collapse around me. I'm, going to do I'm doomed. I'm absolutely doomed. Nothing I can do about it. And I know this. And I'm sat there thinking, yeah, I've just lost a shitload of credits. But did I? Well, in a word, no, I did not. I earned credits. I earned 11,318 to be exact, despite the fact that we lost, despite the fact I was one of the worst players. Despite all of that, I won credits. But why? Look at how much I got from those boosters. Now, if I had not had the boosters installed, 
I would have lost a shed load of credits, which I expected to lose, to be fair, because it was a defeat. Well, let's have a look at the next game. So here we are again, rolling out in our semi-stock EZMB5. I've done nothing different. Now I'm actually in a tier 9, tier 8 game. So I'm actually in... I'm, I'm top tier. I'm, I'm up tiered. Not in a tier 10 battle. So, you know, we're, we're looking good. However, big difference between this game and the last game, setup-wise, is that I've removed all the boosters. My premium account is still active. The times 3 is still active, or whatever it is. All that is still active. The only difference between this game and the last game, setup-wise, I have removed the credit boosters. Everything else remains the same. Now again, I'm not setting the world on fire here. In fact, I've been permatracked, and you know, I, 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 I'm in a bad way. I've only done 200 damage for Pete's sake, but I managed to escape and get around the corner a little bit, and I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit of safety now. But I'm not going to be setting the world on fire in this game, guys. I don't expect to, you know to see some amazing gameplay because you're not going to see that. And that was never the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is not to show you amazing gameplay. It's to show you a theory that I am considering. So, we're doing okay. We're not brilliant. We're not, you know, up close and personal with anybody. We're not front and center. We are not carrying this team. We're playing a mediocre game at best. But we're still alive. We're still doing a little bit of damage. And, you know, the way things are going, our team has got the upper hand, so the chance are it's going to be a win uh, if we continue like this. There are three tanks down, we're only one tank down, we're doing okay. And with the fact that it could be a win, chances are I'm going to get some decent credits. Here comes the uh, IS-5, bless him, strand, oh, doom, doom, doom. there he goes. Now they've only got three tanks left, I've not done amounts of, massive amounts of damage, nowhere near massive amounts of damage. Here comes the Emil. He's going to be a pain in the backside. However, the SU is going to take out the Glacial, which he does. I'm slowly but surely getting up to the damage that we had last time. There we go. We've got similar damage to the last game. And, uh, you yeah, know, we got one kill. Uh, I, can't, I think we did fire some premium ammunition. I'm not sure. We didn't fire much, though. And now there's only the Waffle Tractor left. Uh, we're going to put a couple of HE rolls into him. Um, that one's that one's pretty decent. Not a bad roll. Gives us 1500 damage. We're still not setting the world on fire. Not in this tank. Not at this tier. You know, we should be looking at a lot more damage than this. But I played it like a monkey. Must admit. And uh, you know, where it goes now, I've got 1900 damage. And that's all I'm going to get in this game. So we we did a little bit more damage, but similar. It's still below 2k. And what did we get? It's a victory. What did we get credit-wise? <gasps> Nothing. We lost credits. We actually lost credits. We did more damage. We got a second class. We got a spotter's medal. But without those boosters, the credit earning capability of the tank is significantly reduced. In fact, it's reduced so much that regardless of me getting a second class, etc., etc., I have lost significant credits. Yet I played better in that game than I did in the other game. So what do I think is going on here? Well, a couple of things. I'm thinking that, yes, they may have changed the profitability and changed the credit coefficient, but I don't even think that's the reasoning behind this. So as much as I would love to say that there's a glitch or a bug or a mistake, I don't think there is. I think this is done on purpose. And the reason I say that is because this is the trade-off. Look, Premium time and credit XP, uh, credit boosters, yeah, generally you can get them for free, to be honest with you, in the containers. However, you can also buy them for gold, which means you can buy them for real life cash. That's a big thing because, you know, by getting you to a point where without premium time and without boosters, you are going to be losing credits that's going to entice you to spend money on the game. Now, as a marketing idea, I'm not opposed to it. I mean, it's, it's better than doing other things. And everybody's already known that you need the boosters and you need the premium time because with those, you get more for your book. So to say, you get more bang for your book, as they say. However, 
I've always known that there was always going to be a trade-off. I never knew what the trade-off was actually going to be. And that's what I think the trade-off is. The trade-off is we now get standard ammunition HE shells and repairs gratis, free of charge. But, but, if you don't have premium time and you don't have boosters loaded, you are going to start losing credits, especially in these high tiers, tiers 9 to 10. Now, a lot of you may turn around and say, oh, this is a disgraceful move, this is surreptitious, this is naughty. I don't think it is. I, I, I think it's perfectly reasonable. Because what it's trying to do, it's trying to get you to play the game, it's trying to get you and entice you into the game to get you to get more boosters, more premium time. In its own right, that's not a bad thing. I mean, look at this mouse game. You know, we won, great. I got a third class, great. I got 45,000 credits, great. But that credit comes from the boosters. It doesn't come from anything else. Boosters and premium time. Without the credit boosters, without the premium time, I would be negative. So just remember this, guys. Everything is a trade-off at the end of the day. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below, because I've been interested to see what your views and thoughts are on this. And until the next time, stay safe out there, guys. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.